Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review slash talking about my Proplica, the Crystal Star Locket from the Bandai Proplica line. It comes in this nice little slip box and it says Proplica Crystal Star and it has a Sailor Moon International logo and the 20th anniversary logo. On the side it says you have to have LR44 batteries, you need three of those. And it says it has a picture of the crystal star and some Japanese. It says probably a crystal star again on here. And mine is, I bought this, this is really funny too. I bought this from a Japanese website, but I have, I they got the silver toy sticker, which means it is an international release. And the gold one, the gold ones mean they're from Japan, and the silverish reddish ones are from Hong Kong. And you take it out, this it flips off, and it looks like this: another Proplica Crystal Star, Proplica Crystal Star on the sides, then Proplica, then again, oops, the 20th anniversary logo. And then the back, it has information on the crystal star, which I can't read. And when you open it up, with the flap, and there'll be, a, I don't remember if my sister opens up, you get the little pamphlet on the crystal star. It has everything you need to know about it. Let me open it up. Okay, there's just a little booklet. And it tells you the different modes. Which there's an A mode and a B mode. And then this story, it's probably really hard to see. You can find pictures of it online, probably. It's nothing important. But it's a nice little tidbit of information if you don't know what Sailor Moon is. And if you can read Japanese. And on to the real thing. Now it's covered up with one of it with a piece of foam. And then whenever you get it, it looks like this. Now it will be all wrapped up in tissue paper so it won't be scratched. And the inside of the box is really plain. It's a little design, it's a really cute little box. And now the Proplica itself. It looks like this really accurate for the anime, the back, then the mirror, the gem, and probably do this down on a table. I'll show you all the modes up close and how to take this thing apart because if you look at the pic the promotional images this thing is apart. It's not that scary like I thought it was going to be. Ooh, it's a fingerprint on my mirror. I bought this off the Japanese website for all together. I think my sister bought this for my birthday for like 58 bucks all together. That's not a bad price. But now Amazon has it for $58. So if you want one quick and fast, go on Amazon right now. I will put a link down in the description for this Proplica. Um, and you can get this anywhere. But beware of bootlegs. I've not seen a bootleg of a Proplica yet. And I don't know if there are, but just be wary. And make sure you always look for any Sailor Moon merchandise. Look for the Toei sticker. That way you know it is real. Now the old Sailor Moon merchandise from the 90s, which I have one right here in box. They, especially the American releases. All the Japanese releases most of the time, even from the 90s, have the Toei sticker. Like... This Sailor Mars doll, for example. This is from Canada in the 1990s. There is no Toei sticker because this is from Canada and not Japan or China. Not China. China does not have a Toei division. Keep note of that. If you want a prop, not a propica, a figure art, do not buy one that says China version. This is an official Venus I bought from, I bought her from America, from Barnes & Noble. I'll sell her off eBay. And there went the box. Just 
spell, guys. I'm an abusive person. Sailor Venus' box. Again, has a toy sticker. You can't really see it because my camera doesn't like to focus. This is an official. Make sure it has Bandai, Tomashi Nations, anything. And I've seen now in some of these figures, the Toei sticker is now printed on some of these boxes. Be careful. Now, let's get on to the cool part, shall we? Okay, now on to the Proplica. Move that out of the way. It's very shiny. I'm sorry I don't have the best lighting in here. My light's on and I have a little... The little red light right there, that is from my camera. There. Cover it up. It won't work. Sorry, guys. That bugs you. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay. There's a little moon back here. This is the back. You hit it. Shut up, phone. And you will see there's a switch. There's a button here. A little piece right there. And then an on and off button. Now when you turn it on, you will hear... A second. And that is signaling that it is on. I'm going to keep the back off because this is very important. Has now, compared to the 90s toy, which I do have a 90s locket. Look at that, you can just keep looking at it, this. Now this is not a bootleg. Like a lot of people think this is a bootleg. This is not a bootleg. This is an old 1990s Canadian locket that I have to fix. I have broke something in it. I think it's just a wire, but this is what it looks like. This thing is huge compared to the new locket. I mean, already the size differences, the thicknesses, and this one does not have the hinge visible like this one does. And this one, it doesn't work. Let's compare the insides. I know I'm doing comparisons first, but it's a lot easier. We we'll get to the good stuff. I'll put a skip time. This one, as you can see, is very shiny. You can see the shine. This one is not. This one has a pink crystal. This one, they always put pink crystals in these things. I don't know why. This one has the real silver deal. This one has a mirror. Hey, this one doesn't. This one's decals are more, are printed on, basically. This one's is molded, which I do like the mold. And then the ribbon details are almost the exact same as you have the ugly speakers right here. As you can tell, the speakers are concealed right here, and the hinge is right here, so it's not as visible, and this has a seam, it looks like you can't even take it apart. Okay, now on to the good stuff. Now there's two modes. There is, this is blue mode, which is B mode, red mode, which is A mode, and here's what this mode does. moving on I know you can really tell at the end it does change colors and on each mode there are two different things. That one I just did right there was a short press and there's a long press. You hold down for a couple seconds. And now to switch to B mode or blue mode, there's little but this little button back here. You have to press it, and it'll change the blue like I did. First one looks at is red. You press it, and then you press it again, you get blue. 
Now here's the short press. And next is a long press. Like I, you just have to hold down for a couple seconds and it'll go by itself. And this one is without voices. Okay, and that's all the modes. I'm going to shut this off now. And I will now show you how to get this thing apart. And yes, like I said, it can come apart. Okay, and like I was saying before, yes, this thing can come apart unlike this 90s toy. This 90s toy is not going to come apart. Don't try to tear it off. And... There's this little piece, you know I'll show you this little piece in the back? I'm going to take this out, be careful, you don't want to lose this thing. This thing is tiny, it goes in where you take, it, it conceals where the hole will be once you take this out. And it's just a little tiny piece. I'm going to set that on my little thingy. And what I do, grab it like this you will feel it start to give and it's that easy and when you put it back in it's a little difficult when you put it back in because you can feel it go in and I'm not even getting in there right you can feel it, it likes to bend back, just be careful mm, technical difficulties, see I have a lot more problems getting this back on than I do getting it off. There we go. Here's snap. And then I'll do it again. I kind of grab it at the base. Just kind of put it on my chest a little bit because this is an extra oomph. And now it'll be in two separate pieces. Like I said, be careful. And then this little piece let me put it in there. It's a little hard to get in there. Because this is what the little piece does. It conceals it. And I'll get a close up on this. One second. Alright, and here is a close up of it with the little hinge thingy. <laughs> my goodness, sorry with the big red glare. I'm going to find something to cover that up in my next videos. And it's just the same thing. I'm still in the. I actually turned it off. Let me turn it back on. I'll just do the... Ooh, I can show you guys how to turn this thing up and down. Okay, let me turn it back on. Okay, you're going to hold the back button. Hold the little square back button. It's really, really quiet. And this is what this piece looks like without the little... This is really hard to do one-handedly, guys. It looks like this without the little... With it taken out. And then you just put this little tiny piece in there. And it looks really cool. And you can... I don't know how you would display it like that. But... My sister just displays it near her proplica, and we it's all good. And, oh, Usagi, shh, shh, you shush. Okay, I just take that out like that. Put it back in this little teeny tiny spot. And if you want me, I can compare, let me compare the size really quick to... The to a DVD case of the first season I just got today in the mail because my sister had my sister has all of them, and I only I didn't have them yet. 
Oh, it's like, I'm gonna see legs. Let's do if I guess one handed. Sorry, guys, you get to see. Here, let's do some close up action. This is the fail close up action. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, let's compare it now to a DVD. Oh, yay, glares. Okay, here it is to the bottom of Sailor Moon Season 1, Part 1. That's out in stores, guys. Go get it right now if you really want Sailor Moon merch. It's getting cheaper, too, especially this first season. This will not focus. Focus camera. I don't know how to get this thing to focus. I can't, I can't move the lens. There's a big glare. There we go. Pretty tiny. It, it, it is worth the money. I just wouldn't spend over $70 on this thing. And you can recreate her hand with swap, swap hands because it's easier. It's really hard, okay. It's really, really pretty. It's I forgot to describe what it looks like. Okay, it's a pearlized pink on the bottom, not matte. Really, really shiny gold. And the center gem is pink. And this pink is a little bit darker in real life. It looks really, really light in my camera. But it's not. And then on then you have all the other colors, red orange blue and green it's a really nice size some people are like oh this is huge it just depends on your hand size my hands aren't big but they're not small either literally my hands like the size of a DVD case but yeah um, if you like this video leave a comment tell me, me what other Sailor Moon items I should review I have a lot I mean, I don't have everything. I don't have a lot of RPG toys because I wasn't. I was a child in the 90s. I was a little baby. I was like a little kid in the 90s. I was. No, I was not a little kid in the 90s. I was a little kid in the 2000s. But, like I said, I would love to do more Sailor Moon items. I have a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, look at my shelf of interesting items. I have these two things which I do have a review of. I have a Sailor Moon plushie, Chibi Chibi, really rare plushie. Oh, I just dropped Chibi Chibi. No, Chibi Chibi. Sailor Mercury doll, which I did find. I found her. She's on my bookshelf when I recorded my six-inch doll video. My six by twelve-inch. My Sailor Jupiter figure, figure art, and I have ordered a Van Presto figure, which should be in the mail really, really soon. I also have Zelda figures, Zelda plushies, Zelda, Zelda, I have two Stick of Truth figures, I killed Kenny, I'm a bastard, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, Disney items, Rose from Titanic, another Sailor Moon item, I have a lot of these dolls, I have a lot of things, I have Luna P that doesn't work, she does, but I don't have the battery back for her, I need to make a new one, and that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I will continue reviewing Sailor Moon items as long as I have them